Joining us now to talk about future plans for bio are Jim Greenwood and incoming bio board chair, Dr. Jeremy Levin, who's also the chairman and CEO of an emerging biotechnology company called Ovid Therapeutics. Gentlemen, welcome to Good Day Bio. It is great to have this opportunity to speak to you both. Let's start with you, Jim. Bio Convention is back in the state, Pennsylvania, that you obviously used to represent yep. in Congress. So how important is this area, not just Pennsylvania, but let's think about Delaware, New Jersey, what you like to call the Silicon Valley. How important is it to biotechnology? Well, gene therapy, which is really about taking a, a, a patient who has a mutated gene and replacing that with the correct gene, all right? And that, this, is the, this is the greatest frontier of biotechnology. What's happened in Philadelphia was 20 years ago, a young man died in one of the early experiments and it set gene therapy back for a very long period of time. For it, it to reoccur here in Philadelphia, Sparks Therapeutic, doing the amazing things they have done. Who we're going to have on the show. Right, and for its gene therapy and cell therapy to be taking place and centered here in this area is just a wonderful recovery story for the city of Philadelphia. And for medicine. And for medicine. Absolutely. Course. Dr. Levin, as you take the gavel as the new bio board chair, what are your and the board's top priorities for the next couple of years or so? Mike, delighted to be here. And Jim, thank you and the bio team for all that you've done and the board, thank them for electing me. My priorities are pretty straightforward. We're an industry of innovation. We're going to focus on innovation. Anything that can stimulate innovation, and as we look at that, we're also going to confront in a very, very steadfast fashion and a very clear and transparent fashion, the issues of pricing. How do we reduce the cost to patients? A lot to be done there. We'll engage with all stakeholders. We'll engage fundamentally with Congress, physicians, and at the end of the day, we'll ask one question. How can we benefit the patient? Dr. Levin, we have seen so many advances, some of which Jim just referred to, in the field of rare disease medicine specifically. Even just this week, we saw conditional European approval of a new gene therapy for a rare blood disorder. So as the CEO also of a company, Ovid Therapeutics, that's working in rare diseases, are we still in the early days here? What's the promise? What's the hope? Mike, there are 7,000 rare diseases 30,000 families across America, so roughly about 120 million Americans who suffer from these diseases. So for us, rare diseases are just beginning to open up. We've gone into Angelman's, rare disorders of epilepsy. Others are beginning to look into some of the key gene defects and fix them. So I think that we are on a cusp of a revolution. Let's all hope that's the case. Jim, um, you mentioned gene therapy. We've talked about rare diseases. Besides those things, as the head of bio, what else gives you hope, whether it's in therapeutic discovery and development, whether it's a new technology, a new platform, or even in the food supply for your member companies? Well, working on rare diseases is absolutely critical, and the kind of work that, that Dr. Levin and his company and others are doing is spectacular. We still have huge diseases that affect millions and millions of people. So take Alzheimer's disease, all right? It's costing us $250 billion a year, and by 2050 it'll be up to a trillion dollars a year. We can't afford that. We have spent billions and billions and billions of dollars, biotech companies, trying to find a treatment for, for Alzheimer's, and they've all failed. So we have to still keep at it. We will succeed at that. But in the meantime, Congress has to make sure it doesn't destroy the incentives for us to continue to invest in these very risky enterprises. And not just the economic cost, but certainly the personal and the family oh, cost. Well Alzheimer's is a, is a terrible disease for the patient and for all of their loved ones. Yep. Jim Greenwood, Dr. Jeremy Levin, thank you so much for being here on Good Day Bio. Have a great rest of the conference. And Dr. Levin, best wishes as you take the gavel as Bio Board Chair. Thank you, Mike.